Welcome to Stone Town. And if you're new here, I'm Christine with Where in the World is Seattle, and I make travel videos every week to help you get up, get out, and go travel. So if you like to travel, consider subscribing. I'm walking around Stone Town this morning, and I wanted to share with you some really interesting things about this place. Let's start with where it's located. Zanzibar is actually way bigger than I expected it to be. And Stone Town is located on the west side of the island. It's actually really small. You can kind of walk around the whole thing. And it's so small with such narrow streets that, to be honest, kind of remind me of walking around Venice. And it's not easy to drive around here. So you see a lot of bicycles and motorbikes around here. And it's mainly just walking around these super narrow streets. This was named a UNESCO heritage site. Stonetown really relies on tourism, so you'll see a ton, a ton of hawkers all over the street, everywhere you walk. But the main airport for Zanzibar is located right here in Stonetown. Just walking around the streets of Stonetown is a must, and you have to stop and see things like Freddie Mercury was born here. If you're wondering where to stay, one thing about Stone Town is that you'll find more of the big brand hotel names. So unlike John Biani and Page, which is where I just came from, link in the description below, you'll find more hotels like the Double Tree or the Park Hyatt. You'll find some of those big names here, but you'll also find a bunch of quaint places. primarily Swahili culture here, so it's helpful to know a few words. So let's have my driver help with that. What about jumbo? What is jumbo? Jumbo means like a jumbo. Jumbo is like a mambo. Mambo like a... And what's mambo? Mambo. <laughs> jumbo mambo is the same. Like hello. Oh, like jumbo, hello. Jumbo mambo. Okay. There you go. Swahili lesson. Done. And speaking of that culture, it's primarily Muslim. So that's why I have this weird, I have no more clean clothes. I'm trying to wear all my beach apparel to be as conservative as possible when I'm walking around Stone Down. By the way, if you're having some fun with me in this video and learning something, cheers that like button and consider subscribing. I was so curious, how did Stone Town get its name? It got its name because the local Arab traders and slavers brought stone here, and that's what all the ornate houses are made out of. Which, by the way, over half a million slaves were traded through this area. One other thing you cannot miss in Stone Town is the food. Oh my gosh, the restaurants here are bomb! This town is awesome, but you know what it's time for? It's time to get on the water! Oh, I'm so excited! Let's get out on a boat! 